Am I giving off mime vibes right now? A little. <laughs> Hi y'all, welcome or welcome back to Feeling Froggy Knit. My name is Maya and today we are going to be getting into 25 plus Valentine's Day patterns. I know that Valentine's Day can be a little bit of a touchy subject for some. It can be seen as this hyper corporate holiday where all people are doing are capitalizing on the one like pure thing left in this world, which is love. But a very valid point to that. But counterpoint, a little personal information about me. I have never been one that is in a lot of relationships. I've only had a couple in my whole life and I'm in the last one right now because <laughs> this is it. I'm, I'm done after this. Uh, <laughs> Drooby is it for me. Aww. Speaking of love, you would think that I never really loved Valentine's Day because it can be a sad time for people who are not in relationships and, and think that they need that to be loved. I've felt that before, absolutely. But at some point in my life, I just kind of made the decision to switch my perspective on Valentine's Day. So instead of buying into the more corporate aspect of the holiday, I like to use it as an excuse to shower my friends and family with love. And today is going to be all about things that you can gift to people and things that you can gift to yourself. That's my spiel about love, in case you were wondering. I have, I believe, 28 patterns that I will be showcasing today. They are both free and paid crochet and knit patterns. I wanted to get a variety of everything in there for y'all and I have broken them down into categories, I would say. You'll see when I say the category names because I they're a little bit cheeky. I thought they were kind of funny. I've started to learn how to crochet. Okay, New Year's resolutions, let's go. You know me, you know, one of my favorite color combinations is pink and red. There is just something that I love about it so much. It's just so vibrant. I actually got a tattoo because I wanted to get a little pink and red color combo going. <laughs> So I literally have something permanently on my body because of this color combination. Tell me how much you love your favorite color combo. Hmm? Cause I've got it tattooed on my body. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Like that's not a good idea. Let us get into our first category. Yes, love. Love is in me. What am I doing? I will be looking at the photos on my phone here. The first category today is what I'm going to be calling Valentine's Day in the Northern Hemisphere. I watch a couple of Australian knitting YouTubers, Friday Knits and Jamie Creates mainly. Watching their videos just reminds me that, you know what, Maya, you in your Northern Hemisphere are not the only people celebrating holidays this time of year. So I wanted to make a Valentine's Day in the Northern and the Southern Hemisphere sections. Anyways, this first one is Valentine's Day in the Northern Hemisphere. And I have to start us off with three sock patterns. The first one is called Candy Heart Socks. As you can see, the picture that I chose, I chose kind of more of a moody Valentine's Day with the black in there, but I thought that these were super cute. Looks like a little really simple color work. These might be good for me just because I've never knitted color work before. Perfect for Valentine's Day or just any time of year because who doesn't love just some little hearts on everything. The next pair of socks I have, they are called the I Heart Socks. They are by Stone Knits and they are just so cute. Again, the pink and red color combo is just, I love, 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 love. I'm gonna say love a lot, but it's Valentine's Day. It makes sense. Again, another color work pair of socks, but you could do a bunch of different color combinations with these if you wanted, you know, the world is your oyster. If you hate Valentine's Day, you know, you could do little broken hearts, maybe modify the pattern if you wanted to. All of these, all of these hearts that I show you today, <laughs> If, you, if you're feeling broken, then just modify a little crack in there. <laughs> and lastly, for socks, I have these are called the V is for Valentine's Day socks. 
they have this cute little, I don't know how that's done, eyelet motif maybe in there, but it's got a heart and then a V underneath it, which I just thought was cute. I love this dark red color, but again, you can play around with color a lot with these. Some of the patterns that I showcased today aren't necessarily on the nose Valentine's Day themed, but I think with the right color combinations, they would just be the perfect little Valentine's Day accessories, garments, etc. That is it for the socks that I have. Up next, I have, these are called Valentine's Mittens. Oh my gosh, so cute. And it looks like it's either bulky or super bulky yarn. So they would just work up so quick. And again, playing with color, I think with this, is really the big thing because if it was just white, it would be a white pair of mittens. But with the little red added into the knit stitches, they look like little hearts, which is just so adorable. And again, probably very quick to make up. Next is a crochet pattern, the first of many crochet patterns that I have listed. It's the Valentine's Day Granny Square Vest. Is this thing not the cutest? thing. I've started to crochet, haven't really gotten into it much. This top makes me want to crochet and I thought this would also work for the folks in the southern hemisphere as well. You know, if you're like me in the northern hemisphere, you can use wool and alpaca and make it soft and warm. <laughs> Lastly, for the Northern Hemisphere Valentine's Day section, I have the Sheer V sweater. I thought that this sweater kind of played on the V for Valentine's Day aspect, but you could knit it in this pretty pink, like is showcased right here, or you know, a deep red might be beautiful. But I thought that the Sheer V would be nice as well because then you could like show off some cleavage if you wanted to. That wraps it up for our Northern Hemisphere section. Up next, we are heading into the Southern Hemisphere, a little bit of a warmer Valentine's Day, if you will. Up first, I have this crochet shawl. I thought that this would work both for the Northern and the Southern Hemisphere sections, but I put it in the Southern Hemisphere section just because it's more see-through. I thought this would be really nice as like a summertime evening shawl to put on maybe on Valentine's Day, perhaps. You could make this in a wool or you could go for more of a summertime like cotton wool blend. I thought that would be really nice just because it is more see-through, more breathable. I thought it would be perfect for the summer. Up next, I have the shell top. This is by Naked Knit. You'll see the shell bra later, but I thought the shell top would be a perfect knit for Valentine's Day. It's sexy. It has that like really nice design that highlights highlights the girlies, you know, whether they're big or small. I think that this top really emphasizes them nicely. And you just knit a wonderful little tank top. So you have that on, cute skirt, maybe a pair of shorts. You know, you're going to the beach. I don't know what you do on Valentine's Day in the Southern Hemisphere. Sounds freaking nice. Up next is another tank top. This is called the Qatar top. I chose this because of the delicate lace motif at the top. Again, looking cute and, and sexy a little bit, just with the like, you know, you can show off your decolletage with this top. It's kind of see-through at the top. I thought this might be a nice, you know, daytime top or, you know, to wear on a nice little Valentine's Day date. Just more of like a romantic look, I guess. Up next, I have a crochet pattern. It's called the Sea Scallop Tank. This isn't Valentine's Day on the nose, but I thought with the scalloped detail, it looked really cute. And with the tie straps, I just thought it looked really romantic. The photos on Ravelry show the person wearing it on the beach, which again, I would just love to wear this in a, like a little light pink on the beach. Oh, and that would be, that would be so cute. And I want that right now because it's so cold here. <laughs> But yeah, it has those tie straps, which I love, and the little scalloped detail. Looks simple enough. Honestly, me as a beginner, I feel like I could do it. Up next, these tops are both by the same designer. They are actually by Friday Knits, who I mentioned earlier. Both of them I thought could work for winter too, depending on the yarn that you use. Ugh. Isn't knitting just so cool? You get to like, oh, that 
Do I want it for winter or for summer? Or uh, fall or spring? You can just customize everything. It's so, oh, it's so cool. Rent over. Uh, the first of the garments that I want to talk about by Friday Knits is the Eloise top. It looks like she uses mohair at the top, which again makes me lean towards winter, but because it's just so breezy, I feel like it could work really well as like one of those day to night summer tops. If you live somewhere where it gets cold at night, then this would work really well. I know that Knitting for Olive has a wool cotton blend, which again, I think in a top like this would work really nicely. And it's honestly making me want to buy a cotton wool blend yarn, which I know Maya, no yarn. I'm gonna buy yarn soon. <laughs> Oops. Lastly, for our Southern Hemisphere Valentine's Day patterns, we have the Daphne dress by Friday Knits. This is also a top, so keep that in mind. But y'all, I don't know if I have seen anything like this in the pattern market. It is so beautifully roughly and romantic. It just looks like you belong in a cafe somewhere romantic in this. I mean, it is just so beautiful. Honestly, all props to her for this pattern because it is just so gorgeous. That will wrap our Valentine's Day in the Southern Hemisphere section. Up next, I have some Valentine's Day intimates. I could only find a couple of patterns, but I feel like as time moves on and I edit this video that more will come out as Valentine's Day approaches. So if I find any new intimates, you know, bras or whatever, then I will have them in the description down below. And I will mention that I didn't say them in the video. But up first, I have the shell bra, which is almost identical to the shell top. It's just a bra. Again, I love the lines that the pattern creates along the bust. I feel like it's flattering for all sorts of cup sizes. I know I'm going to be making one of these very soon. I've got a couple of yarns that are just waiting and honestly, might wanna do that soon because before I know it, it's gonna be spring and then summer. Next, I have a jock strap, which I was thinking to myself, I had no patterns on here for the dudes, the men in our lives. And Valentine's Day is about them too. So I have this cute little jock strap. And actually this designer has a couple of different jock strap patterns. So if you're interested in doing something like that, again, everything will be linked down below. I just thought that this would be a fun little gift maybe, I don't know. If you want to make a, a jock strap and, and wear it for your partner, hell yeah. I don't think my boyfriend would appreciate a jock strap. I'll ask him though, honestly. <laughs> Lastly, I have this mesh thong, which I don't think I can show the bottom part of it, but I think you get the gist of the top. If I have some like leftover yarn when I make one of my naked knit bras, I'm going to use it to make a mesh thong. It's kind of like a fishnet design, I would say. Not a very big section for the intimates, which I know might be a little bit disappointing because this is like a Valentine's Day video. Sorry. The next section I have here are giftable accessories. These are accessories I found that I thought would be good to put gift cards in, to put around presents, to kind of have as in addition to presents that you're already getting, not the main thing, I would say. And obviously the things that I said before can be gifted, but after the gift giving season, I just thought we all might want to make some stuff for ourselves. A lot of the accessories will be crocheted just because accessories are easily crocheted. First off, I have the candy heart basket. This will be cute to put like little candies in. I love to have little treats out everywhere. If you're like me and like to get seasonal candies and put them in little containers, I thought this would be adorable. Or you could put candy in it and give it to somebody as a gift. Probably really easy, it's crocheted. Up next, I have these candy hearts. Uh, in the pattern on Ravelry, the lady actually had them clipped in her hair, which I thought would be a really cute idea. So that would be a fun thing to put on a present or to put on your body, I guess, to put in your hair. Up next, I have this wine bottle carrier. I just thought this would be 
a really practical gift. You can give somebody a bottle of wine and this carrier as well. And then it's not one of those wine bottle sweaters that just sit there and kind of don't have a purpose. Whereas this, I feel like if you're somebody who lives in a city or have a friend that lives in a city, this would be really useful. You could take it to the grocery store with you if you knew you were going to buy a bottle of wine. You know, it just has a lot of uses and I picked this picture because of that pink color and I just think if you knitted it in like red and white or you know red and pink that it would really pick up on the theme but it could be used year round. Getting back into the more plushy game we just have these Valentine's hearts. I just wanted to find a plush heart pattern just because they are so adorable and I think they would look great in like a little gift basket or you know string them on a gift bag whatever you want to do if you wanted to just make this up and sew a cute little face on it and give it to somebody as like a little plushie I just wanted to throw these in here so that y'all had access to this because um, I'm sure that they're really easy to make but you know sometimes it's hard to find patterns Next we have, oh my gosh, y'all, these are so adorable. There's a pattern for a heart and then pattern for these strawberries, for these chocolate covered knitted strawberries. Get, <laughs> get out of town. These are so cute. The designer on Ravelry said that you could use these, you know, to tie to gift bags as is shown in the picture here, or you could gift it as like a little bookmark, <laughs> you know, Stop, y'all. So freaking adorable. The chocolate covered strawberries, y'all. That is what just sent me. Up next, we have a just a rose. <laughs> I thought this would be cute, you know, a single rose as is if you wanted to be ambitious and knit a dozen roses and gift it to somebody. A bouquet of flowers that never dies. Who would not love that? I actually want to knit up one of these roses and display it somewhere in the project palace because I just think they are so cute. Get a little vase and put some roses in there. I know that Norman at Nibble Needles Norman, he has a couple of flower patterns, which I will also link down below, but I thought that would be a cute little, you know, add on or the main gift, honestly. And last Lastly, we have the Valentine pouch and it is just a little pouch with a heart on it. I thought this would be cute if you're given a gift card or some jewelry that this would be a nice little carrier for it. And with these giftable accessories, I thought they would be really nice because all of them are relatively small so it won't take too much time to knit them up and it'll just be a lovely little add on to show your love and appreciation for the person you are giving giving it for. All right, y'all, the last section, I lost all my creativity. So this is just the miscellaneous section. They can all be winners. First is this dog vest. When I saw this, eyes popped out of my head. How freaking adorable is this little dog vest? And we don't discriminate here. Cats as well could fit into one of these, obviously. I believe this is a one size fits all pattern, but if you're more experienced, I don't think that you would have any issue in getting it to the size that you need it to be. Again, for us in the Northern Hemisphere, it is cold, cold, cold where I am right now. And I'm sure Willow and Ivy, my lovely cats, would appreciate these sweaters on those cold mornings and your little furry friends would as well. But again, if you have a broken heart right now, put a little crack in it. The next is this little heart bag. This is by, um, I think this is by Lion Brand, like the yarn company, but it's a free pattern, it's crochet. Again, if you know how to crochet, you can probably just like come up with this on your own, but me as a beginner or, you know, somebody out there watching as a beginner, this pattern might be really useful. I really like this crochet pattern. I thought it was nice and small. Up next, I have both the knit and crochet version of these dishcloths, and I believe it's by, again, Sweet and Cream, which is another very large yarn company. I'm pretty sure that they sell them in Michael's, <laughs> but 
Anyways, I found that there is both a knit and crochet version of these dishcloths, and I loved both of them. If you're a dishcloth kind of person, you want, you know, your little seasonal Valentine's Day dishcloths out. They look fairly simple as well. The knit one looks like there's some moss stitch going on. Crochet, it looks like a granny square type of construction, but I love the crochet one. All the color choices too, just, oh my gosh, I might try to make one of these because like I said, I've been learning how to crochet and maybe I'll try to make a really bad one of these. <laughs> I mean, if y'all saw my socks, you know that. <laughs> The first things that I make are, are not the best, but, but we're beginners, it's okay. Up next, this is a little bit different than the stuff that I have been showing, but I have this Cornered Hearts Granny Square. This just popped up on my Ravelry and the white and red yarn combination, I think is what really got me. I think this would look so nice crocheted up in, you know, a bag, a vest, a sweater, a tank top. They're just, a bucket hat. There are just so many things you can do with granny squares that I wanted to include this because you could just make like Valentine's Day themed everything if you wanted to. Like if you're really fast at pumping out some granny squares, you could have a whole V-Day fit by the 14th. The eight little hearts on this are just so adorable. I love this. All right, y'all. Last but not least, and the only pattern on here that I have two pictures for because it is just so fucking cute. And it is this V-Day Kisses pot holder. Maybe it's the yarn choice that they used. I have no idea. The reversible aspect of it. Who knows? I just think this is the cutest pot holder ever and would be such a nice little gift or again, something to have around your house that shows off the season, but this would be a nice little color work pattern to do, I think. You know, I've said this about a lot of these patterns, but especially a lot of the miscellaneous ones, I think because they're smaller and I want to do some small projects right now, I just love the design of this. The rose in there, the fact that it's reversible. My little brain does not comprehend how this is even constructed, but I want me want it. All right, y'all. Well, that about does it for this week's video. I had so much fun researching and finding these patterns. I love watching these videos, so I wanted to kind of try my hand at it, I guess. If you liked this video, then make sure to like it and comment down below if y'all have any fun Valentine's Day patterns that I missed myself. I know if I don't get to it this year, then I'm gonna get to stuff next year. So make sure to leave some suggestions down below for myself and for others. Follow me on Instagram to see the in-between, but if you just wanna watch me, you can subscribe to me here on YouTube. I put videos out every Thursday. Thanks y'all so much for tuning in this week. Make sure to stay tuned in because next week we're going on a little trip. I had to turn the camera angle so I could get up and walk out because it was uh, directly in front of me. So have a wonderful rest of your night or day wherever you are and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.